I don't know, is my album getting released in Poland? No, I don't think so. Am Probably I a fan illegally. of Glee? I haven't yet to watch Glee because when Glee's on, I'm on. So, you know, it's Teddy Clash. Teddy Clash. Um, all bets are off. Uh, I will record it probably on my next album. Um, I love The Fear. I think The Fear is like the best pop song of last year. I'm a big Lily Allen fan. Uh, Moonlight Shadow, that was with his sister Sally Natasha Oldfield, wasn't it? I like that song a lot. When Will I Tour Europe? Um, I don't know if I could write a bra song. When will I, will I tour Europe? When will I tour Europe? When will I tour... Okay, whatever. Um, oh, that's nice, Evsky. He'd rather watch me than watch Glee. Is Spina Cave not on iTunes? I didn't know that, Parky. I would have thought... Oh, was it a vinyl only release? Will I come to your karaoke party? It depends when and where. Will there be a CD single? No. Why do you want a CD single? Just buy the album. Um, uh, I don't... I, do you know what? I, the Bird, Bird and the Bee is Greg Kirsten and Inara George. I've heard snippets, but I for some reason haven't been able to get a hold of the albums. But I really want to check it out because I want to hear their Hall & Notes tribute album. It sounds amazing. I don't know if I'll be at Soulfest. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I do like Mumford & Sons. And the guy who made my Don't Want to Go Out video made the Winter Winds album, uh, video as well. I will, Amelia, did you get my tweet? I, I've been so busy in the last few weeks with the run-up to the single release, but I'm doing a webcast, um, not, uh, two weeks today is the next one, and everybody you can hold me to, I've promised Amelia that I will play her Angel by Sarah McLaughlin, um, so I want you all to keep reminding me, and I'm not going to break a promise, Amelia, you will definitely get it two weeks today on the 15th of March, you will hear a song. Um, well, I don't know if I'll do any more in-store gigs, Alan. You'll normally do them around an album release. Um, do I know Land of Talk? No, I don't know Land of Talk. Uh, I've heard of Ingrid Michaelson. I don't know her music. Do I like Damien Rice? In Small Doses. V-Fest. Um, Mother's Day, yeah. Um... Will I ever come to Newcastle? I promise I will. I was meant to come to Newcastle on this tour. Go and have a little crossword with the Sage because we were penciled in and then they booked something in for the whole thing. And then by that time, none of the venues in Newcastle were available at the dates I was available because we booked the rest of the UK tour. So annoying. Mark Fisher, for the third time, I have no idea how the new single is doing. It's only Monday. I got given the lipstick by my mum-in-law. She went to a posh bar and they give them with, to you with one of their cocktails. And so she came home and she gave me this. It's got a little light. You can get them on feelunique.com. You can get them on a website called feelunique.com. They do them in different colours, apparently. Just been told. Um, Yes, the new Joanna Newsom is amazing, but I have only listened to snippets. It's three albums. I need a, a good few weeks to sit down with it. Do I have a favourite singer? Oh, God. Uh, tons. Another fight. No, Audrey and Maggie are too cold to fight tonight. Where was the worst venue art you played at? Um, um... Do you know, I can't think of venues that have been terrible. I can think of gigs that have been terrible and painful. And, and one not that long ago, just before Christmas, that I did at a very posh members club in London. It was probably the, one of the worst experiences of my recent life. And I care never to repeat it again. And I actually did this thing where I walked straight from the stage to the exit. I've never done that before. I very rarely do that. I literally came off stage, saw... Andrew, my husband and co-manager, <coughs> looked at him, he had my coat in his hands, I picked my coat up and I said, we're not even going to say anything, we're going to go right out the door, and I left. I'm very glad I did it. It was miserable. It was one of those things that I did because it seemed like a very good cause. It wasn't a stroke, it wasn't a gig as such, it wasn't a gig that I could have sold you tickets to. It was something that I thought was going to be the right thing to do. And it was a bun fight, and I hated every minute of it. 
and um, I'll never do that kind of thing again. Um. Elvis has indeed left the building. Um. Oh, Rocker, I'm rubbish at physics. You do not want me to help you at physics. I was okay at circuit boards. I could build a circuit board to make a doorbell. I built an electric doorbell when I was 15. But my, my, my sciences are very poor, even as poor as my mathematics. Um, so, no. Having said that, I did do physics GCSE and I think I got an A or a B, so I can't be that bad, but I think it was a struggle and I never felt the need to do a science subject for A level. I was pretty good at English at school, I have to say it was one of my better subjects, it was sort of up there with music for me. Do I like Brussels? I had some beer and I ate some chocolate and I bought some lace for my godmother and I had a very nice time even though it was very cold, yes. I don't have special needs, you don't really need that much physics in life. I mean just learn about gravity, if you drop something it's going to fall on the floor. I mean, yes, physics is useful, I suppose, if one wants to go to the moon or build a car. But let's face it, how many of us actually go to the moon and how many of us actually build cars? A few of us. I think it would be much more beneficial to the children of the future if instead of physics lessons we had things called washing machine lessons and housework for boys. Where boys were taught how to hoover, and by hoovering I don't mean that you switch it on and sort of roll it around for five minutes. You get the nozzle off and you do corners and you go under like furniture. I'd also like an ironing for boys GCSE. How about domestic science just for men? That would be nice. Um, yeah, physics. I'm sure it's useful to someone, but you wouldn't want to go to a party with that person, would you? Phoenix risen. I'm allowed to be sexist. Um, I really enjoyed Radio 5 today. I love Lady Gaga Caballo. In fact, last week I covered Poker Face. And I played Poker Face last night at a gig. Um, GCSE Boiler Management. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. We should all... In fact, you know what? Why, why don't they teach us shit like that at school? How to plumb, how to do a boiler, basic DIY, like for girls as well. Like, why do I feel at the mercy of someone who I actually probably wouldn't trust to take my dog for a walk, but I have to trust to fix my boiler. Having said that, my stage manager is an ex-gas man and he is one of the brightest people I've ever met in my life, so I'd just like to caveat that, that Gas Mark 1 is awesome. But I think, just from Gas Mark 1's tales of life at British Gas, he himself would say that, um, that he got frustrated, I'm sure. I don't know if you're watching Gas Mark 1, he sometimes watches. Balance here, checkbook, credit card use, yes. And the other thing is recently, has anybody seen that One Born Every Minute programme on Channel 4? The other night, I think it was either last week or the week before, we were having a quiet night in, folks. We got our Indian takeaway, we had dogs on our laps, we were like, oh, a night in, bit of telly. Scanning the channels. Next thing, what do I see? A la lady's lady garden with a head sticking out of it. <laughs> anyway, after that, I was compelled to watch. And it occurred to me that we could solve the sex education and the teenage pregnancy crisis in this country by showing everybody a picture of someone's lady garden with a baby head sticking out of it at a tender age, like say 11. If someone had shown me that at 11, I would have crossed my legs till I was married. Do you know what I mean? We wouldn't have teenage pregnancies. He'd be, he'd just be horrified by it all. It'd be very good. Maybe not. Nobody'd be having sex, but I don't know. Um... What do I recommend to see in the cinema? I haven't seen anything for a while since I saw Up before Christmas. I, saw, I might be the only person on the planet who's not seen Avatar. Um. <laughs> Did you see Dave David's comment? Poke out face. Yes, exactly. Um. Favourite film of all time is American Beauty. I know it. Mm. Okay. I keep lagging. I'm catching up with you all. Can I please sing Patience? Alright, I'll sing Patience. Why not? Let's have a little break from my nonsense talking and um, I'll play you Patience. Would you like Patience on guitar or Patience on piano?